<laughs> wow! Where have you been hiding that one? Uh, Martin, cool creature, six o'clock low! Duck like Bill? Easy, it's a duck. Webbed feet? Still a duck. Furry beaver tail? Whoa, a duck built platypus! You got it, bro! One of the most unusual animals in the world. And she's cute, too. You gotta love her incredibly strange feature combo. What do you think is the weirdest thing about her, Martin? Hmm, definitely the egg laying. Sure, everyone knows birds and reptiles do it, but a furry mammal that lays eggs? Now that's rare. Rare? Mammal eggs? I've never heard of such a thing. I knew these guys would lead me to something rare and delicious. Oh, I can taste the recipe now. Platypus egg omelet supreme, made with only the rarest, most endangered delicacy on earth. And I know exactly who will pay top dollar. <laughs> Either she's saying, no, 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 or she's looking for something. Uh, but how do you look with your eyes closed? Her nostrils are shut too, so she isn't smelling for anything. Even her ears are closed, so there's no hearing going on either. Whoa, a huge crayfish. <laughs> now that is a tasty catch. If you're a platypus. Yeah, but how'd she do that? Amazing. She definitely didn't use her eyes, ears, or nose. Exactly. So how? Hmm. Huh? Oh, no, 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 dude. Not one of your experiments. Come on, bro. If we don't figure it out, who will? Do it for science. Okay. I'll channel my inner platypus. <laughs> I'm supposed to find my way around this river with only two senses left? Taste and touch? Whoa! I can't see anything! Oh. I can feel my way around, but I'd rather do it with something other than my face. Martin! Martin, do you realize what this proves? Uh, never let your brother blindfold you when you're floating down a river? No, I mean, yes, but the platypus must have some incredible sensory power, some kind of super sense. Gotta figure this one out. Uh, not that I'm a scaredy cat, but you sure you wanna do this? We have to. Tea devils are disappearing so quickly, and the more we know about them, the more we'll be able to help protect them from becoming extinct. <sighs> Maybe I am a scaredy cat. Oh, it's a shadow! There's the creature! The Tasmanian Devil! Found nowhere else in the world but in Tasmania. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Do you really think this is a good time for a tickle fight? <laughs> I'm not tickling you. <laughs> then who is? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, check out the feeding frenzy! Wow. By the way they're munching, you'd think that carcass was a world-class ice cream sundae. To them it is. Scavengers have it made. <laughs> you find an animal that's already died, then eat it. And if you're gonna eat dead things at night, those long whiskers on their face help them feel around in the dark. It also helps to know when other cheat devils uh, are too close. Too close. He's defending his meal. They're jockeying for position at the dinner table. All oh, those snarls and the way he's standing tells the other guy, I'm tougher than you, so back off. Whoa, that guy won the standoff, and so he's the one who gets the prize. Oh. Do you hear that? <laughs> pound for pound, tea devils have the strongest jaws of any mammal. Tea devils can crunch through teeth, bones, almost anything. 
Oh, if I were a tea devil, I could chew a branch, no problem. Ah, uh, uh, problem in my mouth. Let's start tagging, bro. Nice one, Chris. Ha. All right, tea devils, nothing's gonna happen to you now that the wild crats are on the job. Kangaroo predator, Martin, hide! You're right! Hit the first sign of danger! Joey's like me, head right to the safety of a pouch! I better find one fast! <gasps> a wedge-tailed eagle! Pouch! Here I come! <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Look out! Ah. Save you, bro! Whoa, you really are a giant. That must be a two and a half meter wingspan. Hey, careful with those curvy talons. Uh, I can only hop three meters in the air, bro, but you're way higher than that. Oh! Aviva, come in. Martin's been snatched by a wedge tailed eagle. Where's it taking him, CK? Just somewhere peaceful. Where are you going to eat him? Ow. Look, I know these talons are powerful enough to crush a coconut, but I'm just a crat in a roost suit. So can you loosen your grip a little, Mr. Wedgie? Guess not, huh? Hey, I've got a joke for you. What did the fake Joey say to the wedge-tailed eagle? Give up? Let go of me! Ah! Kangaroo Pouch Bower! Coming in for a crash landing! Help! I got gotcha. you. I gotcha! Nice catch, Chris. Thanks, Martin. Couldn't have done it without my new pouch. Hmm, either the eagle realized I wasn't a real Joey, or he didn't like my joke. Either way, whew! Hang on, Martin. Forget about hanging on. I'm gonna hang in. Kangaroos are faster than dingoes, but dingoes have more stamina and can run longer. <gasps> He's gaining on us! Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Hopster, it's you! Oh, you're safe! <laughs> and we found our keys! Oh no, the Roo boss is heading to the waterhole with the dingo right on his tail! Let's go! Believe me, that Roo boss is tough. He'll be okay. I hope. Whoa! The Roo boss is trying to grab the dingo with his arms. It looks like he's trying to dunk him. He's overpowering the dingo by holding him underwater. This is unbelievable. Kangaroos actually go to the water and try to drown dingoes to defend themselves. He did it, Chris. The Roo boss saved himself from the dingo. Oh. And the dingo got away. But I have a feeling he won't be back anytime soon. Way to go, Roo Boss. The Thorny Devil! He looks like a prehistoric mini dinosaur. But I've seen better dancers. He sure is a spiny little guy. I'm gonna name him Spinester. Hi. Hey, oh, don't get too close, Chris. He's drinking. What do you mean? There isn't any water, no puddle, no stream. Remember, the most amazing part of the thorny devil is how they drink. Those water attracting grooves on their skin that lead to the corners of their mouth. That's right. They can actually drink water from dew that falls on their backs. Oh, I can always spare some drops of water for my thirsty lizard friend. The grooves collect the water, and then as the thorny devil drinks, the water is pulled through the grooves right up to the corner of his mouth. It's like he's got straws all over his body, so he can suck the water right into his mouth. Oh, if I had that, I'd pour lemonade on my back all day. <laughs> hmm, is it ever nice and cool under this shady eucalyptus tree? Koalas spend most of their time in trees for that exact reason. I wonder 
if the guys are missing their creature pods. I mean, I hope they're having a good time. They're crap bros, Aviva. They love swimming with lions and battling fish. Uh, maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> nice life being a koala. Eat a leaf, go to sleep, eat more leaves, and hang out in trees. Koalas don't seem to like hanging out on the ground. They race right back up to the trees. If you had predators watching, you'd hang out in trees too. Are dingoes one of their predators? Yup. Dingoes are koala's main predator. Cause there's one now. <gasps> we met them when we were in Australia researching tea devils. But as you can see, the koalas are safe in the trees. Hmm? Hmm? I think I'll have my dinner with the koalas. <laughs> <laughs> Where's a furry hat in the desert? <sighs> Not anymore. <laughs> Koala balloon. Uh, Koala balloon's got a grip. Oh yeah, sure does. He's got five fingers on each paw, and on the front ones, two of them move separately like thumbs. That's how koalas can hold tightly onto branches. Or my nose. And why koalas are such great climbers. Oh no, not again. Hey, koala balloon, you ever notice that Chris's shirt is green? Like a eucalyptus leaf? Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to my world, dude. Can't hear you, Chris. You got a fuzzy marsupial on your face. <laughs> you okay? Yep. Just had a hairball. <laughs> <laughs>